Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just making a quick video. Pretty much just something that's been on my mind lately. Been contemplating whether I want to do uh, pretty much getting a taser for my car as well as getting a, a, my PC in my lock. So I really just been trying to figure out how to go about doing that. If you know a way, do me a favor, leave it in the uh, comment section. Right when you drop that like, as well as hit that subscribe button for your brother. Wait, I'm really thinking about doing it because I've been I've been pretty much doing a bunch of aesthetic stuff to this car, and I think it's time for me to finally uh, pretty much start finding ways to increase the horsepower. Uh, yeah, sure, I was contemplating just trading my car in, but right now I don't think I really want to do that. I'm enjoying pretty much how everything is going with Shadow. So I'm not really looking to you know just trade it in after doing so much work that I've done to it. So yeah, it's just to the point on whether the taser and the unlock PCM would be best simply because you know before I uh, I put a Hellcat airbox in there that was one of like my very first mods I did and I never got like a tune for it I wasn't ever sure I needed a tune for it thought it was just gonna be a simple pop-in mod without really needing any sort of you know assistance well not assistance any sort of tune after that but from what I looked up, it would be best to kind of get a tune for it, even if it's just like a small tune, a little minor one, just to help it. It would do it, it would probably do it some justice, just having, you know, pretty much a tune for my car, especially when I got in mind of, I think I'm going to get a cam installed eventually. I shouldn't say eventually. I think that will most likely be something I'll try to get done before the end of this year. Simply because when well, I saw the when you want to start gaining horsepower the very first mod you want to start doing would be to you know put a cam in so when you put your cam in it's it's not a, hmm, i've seen mixed reviews on it whether you get 20 horsepower gains 40 horsepower gains i've even seen 60 70 if that's possible great that's why i want to do it but if not you know i'm, I'm cool with taking it small game but at the end of the day i still want to start doing mods inside of the car for like internals because now it's i want to say i feel like I'm, I'm at a point where i'm not doing anything but i feel like i'm at a point where i'm not really doing anything so <laughs> yeah it's, it's pretty much like that i think y'all get how i feel like you when you've done i won't say you've done so much but you you feel like you've done a lot of the look stuff like i still have one more thing i want to do i tried to put racing straps on my car yeah uh i'll drop a clip of that in here on how that went Not great, not great. Yeah, so car is still stripeless. I think I'm just gonna have to settle on taking it to a shop to get it done. So with that, that's really much the last thing I want to do look-wise, and I'm ready to just start doing mods to make it a little faster. You know, I I just got simple stuff done like the muffler delete and the uh, the, the air box, as well as swapping the snorkels out, which I guess that uh. It helped them. It helped a lot, but at the point until I like dyno it, I won't exactly know how much help it did. So that's pretty much my main thing. I was really just hopping on here to drop a video. I haven't dropped one in a while. I just wanted to talk about things that's been on my mind with what's next for what I'm trying to do. I am finally going to install my headlights. Sadly, the lighting trim thing didn't go as planned, so I had to go through another uh headlight company sadly and you know that's pretty much it hopefully i think they should be here by the end of this week so i should be doing an install video with those pretty soon so just be on the lookout for that and that's that's pretty much my next thing in mind after that and now, now i think about that, that's kind of another look thing that's going to be done but i think that'll pretty much be it once i'm done the headlights and the stripes pretty much the next thing that's left to do will be 
you know, starting to do like engine, more engine mods. Cause I actually want to make this car just a little faster. If I can, if I can squeeze out five, if I can just get to 500, it, honestly, I don't even know if I would want to do 500. Possibly 450 might, 450 might do it for me. Only cause I don't want to invest so much into this car with the possibility in the back of my mind that I might trade in. But there's a, there's a, like a very, I won't say a slim chance, but there's a very small chance that I'll be trading this car in anytime soon. Cause you know, this is my dream car. Not specifically an RT per se, but you know, just getting into the Dodge community. That's that's one of my biggest goals that I was trying to, that I had my mind set on. And even though last year wasn't the greatest of years for everyone, getting it done last year was definitely like a good point for me. It felt like I definitely made, I'm making progress for, you know, everything I want to do in the future. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I just hope y'all could check out this video, you know, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll be dropping another video pretty soon, especially, you know, once these headlights get here, That'll definitely be another video. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> I was thinking about the fact that I might just drop that clip on what I did with the original lighting trends has head on um, headlights, how that went. This is the issue. Can't figure out what the hell is going on with this connection. Because as you can see. You know, they work. Only the halo. White doesn't work for some strange reason again. Well, some strange reason now. It's so weird because it's just like I got this far, but now I'm stuck. And yeah, pretty much my headlights right now are still not glued back together. Particularly because I knew I was going to get another headlights and I was not taking those apart again. Those things are a pain in the ass to take apart. Thankfully, it's apart now. They're honestly being held together by tape. <laughs> but thankfully, I, I sealed off every, I at least closed off everything so that I haven't been getting any water in them. They've been fine. It's been raining a lot. I've been having no issues with it, thankfully. So once they get here, it'll be an easy pop off my bumper. Even though I hate doing that, popping off my bumper. It's probably my most, it's probably the most, how else can I put it? The most nagging type of step for doing any type of mod on this car when it comes to the front section. I I just despise it. <laughs> it's very simple though, that's the crazy part, but I just hate doing it. So yeah, pretty much that wrapped this up. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And let me know what y'all think about that uh, unlock PCM idea. Because I really think I'm going to go through with it. But I really just need to figure out how I'm going to go about it. What do I have to do? Who do I need to? If you got any ideas on who I might need to ship it to. Who I may need to send it to and everything. Just let me know. Drop a uh, drop a comment down in the comment section to let your boy know. Because that's really one of my next biggest steps that I'm trying to get done. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, make sure you, know, you hit that subscribe button. Check out your, appreciate y'all for checking out your boy. Been a minute, but back again. Thanks.